Alright, there is my Dollar Tree loot. So I have a 10 item kit over here. I have a first aid kit. And I have food and drink. I end up getting the hot chocolate. I got two packets of them. It should be lots. I'm going to count that as one item, part of my food. I'm not really counting here. This is just for fun. All right, so I got a water bottle. I got a pan, loaf pan to boil water in. This is my shelter. I've got drop cloth, 9 by 12 I've got a bag of leaf garbage bags. I've got lighters. I've got a knife. I've got tea lights. I've got cotton twine cordage. I've got an orange cotton shirt and a crank flashlight, a pump flashlight. So that's that. My first aid kit, hand sanitizer. And then there I have cotton makeup pads and the duct tape. I just took the uh, cardboard core out of the duct tape to make it a little squishier. Tried to squish that in there. It will go in there with some of the um, cotton pads, but not with all of them. So we'll figure it out. And that's an extra container. So there we go. That's my Dollar Tree loot. I did not get a bag. So my bag is that for now and I'm going to throw the stuff in an old backpack when we go out and do an outdoor testing adventure kind of stuff with the kiddos. There it is. My Dollar Tree survival kit. It's about uh, 10 items plus another, let's say another 10, so about 20 bucks plus tax. We're going to use this to play with in the winter and the spring. Practice our skills. Practice, practice, practice. Abby got quite a collection for her hug a tree kit. She's got cover. She's got some cutting. She's got a container with water. She's got some cordage. She's got a whistle. She got a couple of those uh, just had water towels. She's got a really cool pineapple light. She grabbed an extra pair of socks to stay warm. Grabbed some camo bandages. She's got her huge. Um, neon shirt over here, some wipes, lots of food, and a stress toy. That's pretty good. It's not fantastic. I mean, a kid to hug a tree, when they get lost, they just stay where they are, basically, and hunker down. So we want a shelter, water, food, some comfort items, some way to signal. So she's got her squawkers and her neon yellow for signaling. It'd be pretty good for a little while not good enough in my mind really i would say water bottle whistle poncho maybe some body warmers and a whistle would be pretty good maybe with some extra shelter to to be nice and warm Lots of configurations we could do here. Chips, sanitizer. There we go. We're going to find a backpack for all of this stuff. And we are going to practice. We'll practice like a tree, practice a little fort building, all that kind of stuff. Abby and her friends. And then we're going to make a kit up for, make sure all of their friends have a kit when we go out. Just this very simple, basic. This looks like a lot of stuff. <laughs> She's pretty happy with it. All right, so out of all her loot, that's what I would take out. I would take out the cordage. I would take out the cutting. And I would leave all the rest of this stuff in here. Yeah, we don't want a kid that's lost out there to stay out there for very long. But if it had to stay out overnight, I could definitely do it with this. I think this is going to get frustrating because it's going to get tangled. I mean, this is 25 feet, and it will work. It would help. Um, obviously, there's strands inside a few of them at least to make it a little bit longer. So maybe a little bit of cordage, but I don't think they need much. These are fun. The whistle's better. But we're going to leave those in there. We're going to leave all of it in there so the kids can play and practice. So there you go. Kids hug a tree kit from Dollar Tree. I am going to upgrade the kids' kit because safety is really important to me. So we're going to do a proper whistle. And we're going to do a couple ponchos because it depends on how big the kid is. There we go. 
that in a water bottle, proper clothing, is a great start for a hug a tree kit. All right, Abby and I have driven to Pickering and we are at the Dollar Tree, the famous Dollar Tree that everybody does their Dollar Tree challenges from. Our Dollar Tree, everything is $1.50 or less. So this should be significantly cheaper than going to Dollarama. What are we doing today? I'm getting a Dollar Store kit. Can we go inside? That's right, Abby's oh. gonna make a, go ahead. Abby's gonna make a Hug a Tree kit for one of her friends and I'm gonna make a survival kit. Let's see what we can do to cover all our bases, right? Candy and stuff. Pop and stuff. Let's do food and drink last, okay? okay. Lots of cold drinks. Is that you got my hand? Yep. Sunglasses. Alright, so we have looks like the food aisle. Let's go see what we can find. Alright, Abby just brought me muffin mix, which would be good for me, but she is gonna make a kit where she doesn't use anything sharp or she doesn't make a fire. So Wafers. Wafer cookies? Yeah. Cool. I'm going to show you a couple other options that might be just a little bit more filling and healthy. So we have baked beans down here that have a pop top. You don't have to heat them up. Uh, over here, we have the little baby Vienna sausages. Mm -hmm. Ravioli. You decide. Pringles. That would give you an extra container. That would be very helpful. Yeah. Or you want to try to get stuff that you can use for more than one thing if you can, right? A lot of food in here. Oh, look at that. Chocolate. Do I need crisps? I don't need crisps. I'm going to get hot chocolate for my kid. Butter. One of my favorites. Oh, but look over here. Chocolate hazelnut, I think. Cookie butter. That's my name. Chocolate. Alright, these little guys are 200 grams. Peanut butter is 250, so one peanut butter. Alright, we're in pets and cleaning supplies. Uh, dog dish. Dog bowl maybe for boiling in. It doesn't have a lid. It's not that way. Look at there. this. It's know. like a little plate. Yeah, a little plastic bowl. I can put my Pringles in. Your Pringles have a container. Oh, that container. Mm. Perfect. <laughs> Alright, so over here, garbage bags, Ziploc bags. Little cups and lids. Those are cute. If you want my stuff. Let's see. Trash bags, 30 gallons, uh, trash bags, 30 gallons, They're both twist eye. <laughs> See any bigger ones? Any like leaf litter bags? There we go. Leaf litter bags. These are like 39 are gallons. Scented. All right, I have hot chocolate, peanut butter, garbage bags. School supplies, automotive, hardware maybe. Let's go see. All right. Paracord. 25 feet. That's nice and bright. For now, I'll make decisions later. Cute. All right. Little exacto knives. Safety blades. Oh, look at that pocket tool. Hmm. That's pretty cool because I've never seen one in a dollar store before. Alright. These are the two that everybody always debates about. That one. Or that one. Hmm. So flimsy and it's all serrated. Let's grab that one for now. Cordage. 300 feet of jute twine. Poly ropes aren't very long, 56 feet. 50 feet. Quartz. Take out the bottom. 
Hey, that's pretty cool. That'd be fun too. Yeah. All right, tarps. Four by six. Drop cloth. All right, if it was the summer, this would be a pretty good option for fire, maybe. It's not the summer. And we are in the middle of like a little blizzard, aren't we? Yeah? Snowy, blowy, and icy out there. Show me. An A and it also light up, but not as bright, but it's... It's pretty cool. ...has the initial of my name. Okay, so, it's not going to be for you, though. We're making this for one of your friends, right? Yeah. Hmm. So, it's a cool option. You can decide. It's up to you. All right, we have duct tape in here. Not very much. It doesn't look like... Does it say how much? Yeah, 5.5 yards. I'm gonna grab that in case they don't have a first aid kit. Put that in there for now, because we haven't been over there yet. I just cotton twine, 420 feet. Hmm. That is more. Yeah, jute twine. I love jute twine. That's only 300 feet. So we're gonna go with 425 cotton. All right, we're into. Some lighting options over here. Abby's got funky stuff down there. Let's look here what we got. got little guy batteries included. A laser pointer. Um, batteries not included. Batteries not included. Not included. Not included. Uh, that's probably got a light in there. All right, that pineapple is looking pretty good, darling. Not light. So, what do you got? Pineapples and flamingos, and unicorns and clouds. Oh, and then dead fish. That's pretty cool. You know, Alright, so out of here, the only ones that have batteries in them are the little carabiner one. It sounded like there was going to be more, didn't there? <laughs> and the laser pointer. Um, I think it's going to have to be a carabiner one. And we're good. Blue? Let's get blue. Oh, green. Nice and bright. Oh, that doesn't green. have any batteries in it. And Here's my solution right here. There we go. So that one looks like it's broken. No, but there's a purple one, which is my favorite color. All right, I'm gonna get that one. That other little guy go. Sorry, little dude. All right, got some cover. We got some light. We got a knife. We got some cordage. We got some food. Let's keep going. Okay. What do you got? Chips. And a pineapple light. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, crafts and stuff, glow in the dark bracelets. Yeah, quarter, yep. Yeah. This can keep you warm because it's super fluffy. Are you thinking about making a shelter? You need to have some kind of shelter, right? You don't necessarily need cordage, but you need something that you can wrap up in. But cordage so you can make yourself a little fort, right? A little lean to or an A frame or something. I don't know if they have. So I'm just gonna put this in my cart for now. Okay. For my baskets. Okay. Let's see what else we got down here. This is usually a fun aisle to look for stuff. Ooh. Again, what about the squishy ball? Oh, it'll keep you calm and while you're by yourself because it's nice and satisfying. That is excellent point. And for a kid's huggy tree kit, that's a great idea. You pick something that they can play with while they're waiting for someone to come and help them. Cool. I'm gonna grab Abby's kid. A set of scissors so she can cut her cordage if she ends up getting it. You can make a fire with these cotton pads. Yep, we could. Throw them in there for now. Around the corner, what was that? There's what do you got? Stuff. There's cotton balls, there's oh yeah. Squares. 200 cotton balls in there. That's Maybe 200 Ooh. fires. Here's the number. These are good because they can cut my cordage. Yep, you could do that. Or I just found these for you. Oh, those are perfect. Yeah, okay. 
just because they're a little bit safer. Okay, a kid in an emergency situation, we don't want you hurting yourself and making it worse, right? Bandanas. What could you use them for? You could use them for medicine things, you could use them to clean your face, you could use them to make a thing in the air if there's like a bright like one. Like a flag or something? Yeah, this yeah. red one nice and bright. Yep, I want something like that for my first aid kit if I can't find one. And now we're in the section where they would have first aid stuff. And you need a first aid thing too. Yep, that would be good. Hmm, I don't see any little first aid kits here, so we're back to making our own. So we have duct tape. We're going to get sanitizer. Yep, you don't want it too big, and having a pump on it is a really good idea because it makes it a little bit easier. There's a two pack down there. And this is something that we use at our house all the time. Yeah, we could do the. Do you want to get three more for 150? Sure, yep, that's what we'll do. Okay, four for a dollar fifty. Excellent. They're, put, they're tiny, but they're perfect for just throwing in your bag. Excellent. Right, so, 95 milliliters. These ones are 60 milliliters for the same price, sweetheart. But how much are these ones? I think these ones are these ones. Four for a dollar fifty. I don't know if that means four packages or four bottles. Talking about the sanitizer? Yeah. Any four. So one pack of two counts as one. Oh, that's awesome. Thank you. Okay, yep. Because you, it's better. Sure, yep, get those. They're bigger. There's more sanitizer in them. That's because great. And you can put one in your emergency kit and the other ones we use at home. And it's way 237. more. And it's way more than getting these. Yeah, I'm getting one, the biggest one for mine. Yeah, but we need them for home. So you put one in your kit and we'll leave the rest for home for your actual backpacks and stuff, okay? Scarves and stuff. These ones are nice and bright. Toothpaste, deodorant. I don't think we're gonna be using that stuff. Uh, maxi pads. I don't see any tampons. Tampons make fantastic fire starters, but we don't have any in here. Uh, let's see. Okay, so bandana was polyester. These things we looked at, they were polyester too. I don't know where it says it. There we go. So I was thinking what we'd look for is a t-shirt. Nice and bright t-shirt is made of cotton orange. Right, let's see. Heavy cotton. Perfect. Are they the same size? I don't know. Let's do maybe the bigger one. That's small, that's small. Okay. I don't know if I fit in that. I kind of want to get something that would fit in. I'm going to get one too. I'm going to get an orange one too for signaling. Same thing, instead of a bandana, I get t-shirts. I have way more fabric. And it's cotton, which we can make char cloth out of. Whoa, what do you got? Magic towel. Magic towel. Cool. That'd be pretty cool. Alright. Alright, let's keep looking. We're doing a good job here. Yeah, there's also loofahs, which could be used for a bunch of different things. Down here, we need to be looking for some containers. I still need a water container. You need a water container. I need something to cook out of. That's pretty cool. And then there's a little container. And it's plastic. That's yeah. pretty cool. Alright, we're getting down to the good stuff here. So we have a bunch of aluminum pans. We have the old metal loaf pan. Mini muffins. Yeah, that's not going to work for this for me anyway. <laughs> so you can be as creative as you want. You make little mud cakes while you're waiting. 40 feet of aluminum foil. Mm, 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 mm. Found Ziploc bags. Oh, a little pair of knife. That's okay. Let me see what else we got over here. This has got a sheath in it, which is great. This is the one that most people seem to be gravitating to. That one? When they do this challenge that I've seen online. We could try the plastic one, though. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you want to try the plastic one? It's got a sheath. The black one doesn't have a sheath. 
Okay. Sheeps are better because if you accidentally drop it and it has the sheep on it, then it won't hurt you. Mm -hmm. But There's... if you drop this one, then it will hurt you if you drop it on your shelf. That's all serrated and like that. That's another one I've seen people use in this challenge. I think we'll go with the red one because it has a sheath. All right. All right. All this stuff is all breakable. I don't want anything breakable in either of these kits. Right? Right. No pots, no pans, no metal water bottles. All right. All right. We have Tupperware. Gus, are you getting a bottle of water? Yep. Yeah. You can do that. There's ginger ale. There's flavored water down there. It's Powerade. I, I don't think. know if the person that I'm gonna give it to you likes any of it. Yeah, plain water is so a good idea. Just some plain water is good. Um, I'm not a fan of. Oh, okay. Actually, wait. There's a whole bunch of drinks at the other end. Remember? Oh yeah. Okay. I still need something to cook in. And food and water. Pretty supplies. Tupperware. We're into gardening stuff. We might find some good things here. There's a tablecloth. That could make a good shelter for you. Mm -hmm. Is it plastic? It's plastic. Yes, 40 feet square. That might make a good cover for you to wrap up in when you're hugging your tree. It's colorful. Works as signaling. Mm -hmm. Let's see what else we got around here. Valentine's Day. Oh. Scarf. Mitts. We are assuming that whoever's using these kits is dressed properly for the season, right? Yeah. I saw these from a mile away. Um, I'm gonna get a green one. You don't need one, right? Because you're not doing fire? Pretty color. Yeah, I haven't seen matches or anything in this store, which is weird. I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna get... Look at the mini Bic lighter. Yeah, if they had full-size Bics, I'd get one of those. But I'm going to get one of those. Oh, look, mint tins. I love cinnamon mints. We can make chunk cloth with that using our t-shirt. All right, let's see if we can find any other ones. Batteries. Yeah, I don't need batteries. I was looking to see if they had any big lighters. There's bags. Do you want like a pepperoni or something? Yeah. Um, honey garlic. Here's more cover for you. Shower curtains. I think those are bigger than uh, those tablecloths over there. Oops, hmm. I like the idea of this put together and make a super shelter, but I think, if I'm not mistaken, 70 by 72. Yeah. Wait a minute. Sorry. I'm gonna stick with that. There we go. That's better. All right. We'll get a three pack of lighters and we'll put that other fancy bright one. Actually, I'm gonna keep that put in a different kit, but we'll take that out of this dollar store kit. Um, we have little tea lights, two pack. Three pack. Why would you buy a two pack instead of a three pack if you're buying it at the same store? Well, that's weird. <laughs> Boy, that's good. All right. Well, these are about the best fire starters I think I've seen. Oh, mirror for fire. Nope. Looking at yourself yep. because you're so beautiful. Yeah, and if you have any boo-boos or you get something stuck in your eye, you could use that to see, right? If that was a serious cut on your head that you just did and it was gushing, and you want to do first aid, you could use your mirror to look at it and watch and see what you're doing. Yeah. Smart. It's not very thick. If that was burlap, that would be good. Tinder. And party section down here. I think I went down here already. Candles. I have tea lights already, so need that. All right. The little tin. 
give it to God? Just is there anything in it? There's a pen and some paper that you can burn. That's you know what? Good thinking. It's got tinder in it. I like the one with cinnamon hearts in it. <laughs> All right. So the only metal container that I've found that's durable. Go in the fire. Purify water. Is the loaf pan. There's no frying pans. There's no saucepans. There is the dog bowl. I'm doing it here. There's the dog bowl. But the pan is bigger. Neither one of them have lids, so. There's our pot. I'm gonna get some wipes. Uh, I don't know if that really matters. 40. 50. 16. 60. Alright, I think 60 is the way to go. Alright, let me put this one back. Let's take that one, 60 wipes. Alright, now I need a water. Storage vessel and some food to cook. Hmm. Let me get one that's full. Those dog ones look a little bit bigger. Let's see. Whoop, gonna fall. 26 food ounces. Hmm, that, of course, isn't gonna tell me. This is sturdier. This is bigger. Alright, it's got a rubber ring on the bottom of it. I don't know what it's going to do. I assume it's just going to melt and come off. I don't know. What would you do? I just realized something crucial. This hot chocolate, I love Laura Secord, and I'm sure it's great, but there's only two in here. So, coffee it is. I still need some chocolate and something to cook. So here's what we've got in here right now. I've got my shelter is my drop sheet and my garbage bags. I've got my cordage in here, paracord. Um, what else did we get for cordage? Where did we go? Oh, we're missing cordage. Something to cook. So I have baked beans with a pop top. Could do rice. Don't have a lid because I didn't buy aluminum foil. Crack dinner. I just need water. Could do pasta. The good old ravioli, just like we got from Dollarama. Tomato soup. Tomato soup's kind of cool. It gives me an extra container when I'm done with it. Hmm. Beans. Beans and pop tops. Yes. Alright. I think I'm going to do the beans. I'm going to do the beans. This ham is not bad either, actually. Makes a little cup for drinking. Bait. Hmm. Look, 50. I'm going to do beans. Carbohydrates in them. Probably don't have any meat in them, but they do have carbs. Oh, look at that. Seasoned with bacon and brown sugar. Alright, that's my cooking food. So I have beans. I have peanut butter. I have coffee. And I have cinnamon mints on my food. That's way more food than I need, but that's okay. All right. Um, container. Uh, that's a whole liter. One liter. Pops. Gatorade. Powerade. It's a nice big bottle, and it's got a little bit wider lid. Oh, for that. The only thing in here that we don't regularly use at home mm -hmm. that might be a waste of money mm -hmm. is the beans. Yep. Because I'm not sure. But we'll see. Mm -hmm. Alright, Abby and I are at our Oshawa Dollar Tree in North Oshawa. We have $5 left. 
we're gonna go and get a couple more things, a few more things to supplement our survival kits, right? Yeah.